Okay, so we've got Gancha Girl up against the wall again. Um, it's end of February, just gonna do a bit of the old um, pressure wash on the bottom, get the growth off, get ready for the spring. It's a grim job, but someone's gotta do it. after a few hours it's looking pretty good so that's it cleaned the, the mud and slime off the bottom all the growth um, so we'll be able to travel slickly through the water <laughs> come spring and uh, put a new shaft anode because the other one was uh, pretty knackered so just waiting now for the tide to come in so it can float back to the mooring then the rain starts up again and carries on through most of March. Easter arrives and the sun comes out for a few days. We've got buddies who are keen to get on the boat, but it's pretty windy. Here we are, it's Easter day. We've got our lovely friends, Claire and her kids, Lucy and Frank, you can see in the background there and they're coming on the boat for the first time. Got a bit wet on the way here. I got a wet bum, Lucy got a wet bum, forgot to bring extra clothes. How did you feel about uh, getting here? My bum got very wet. Um, so what, what did you do about that then? Uh, it's hanging up to dry over there and I, I'll just huddle in here for a bit. <laughs> Frank, how do you feel about the boat? It was fine, yeah. I think I've probably got the least wet out of all of us, so I'm going Alright guys, so just a few little things really. So, um, there, there aren't many things that are dangerous on a boat, but there are two things. One is the boom attached to the mainsail that swings across, yeah. like when we tack or if we jibe. So you just want to make sure that doesn't hit your head or you don't get caught up in all this stuff so when it's going across. Now the other thing to do is not fall off the boat. Like, that's super important, basically. So, um... I would suggest that when we're sailing along, don't go up on the deck. Go mm -hmm. up on the deck now and explore around if you want. Have mm -hmm. a look around. But otherwise, when we're going along, stay either in the cockpit, which is this bit at the back, or down here. If somebody does fall overboard, we have a, a, a protocol, basically. So there's a thing there, at the back there, which is like a yellow rescue boy. It says rescue system. So basically, what well, the important thing when somebody falls overboard is to keep an eye on them, basically, not lose sight of them. So that's, it's harder when there's only one or two of you sailing, but because there's a bunch of us, if somebody falls overboard, basically, if I'm still on board, I'll assign somebody to keep an eye on the person overboard, mm -hmm. not take your eye off them, make sure, keep pointing out where they are, basically. Yeah. If I fall overboard, Tor will assign somebody to do the same thing, basically. Okay. Then what we'll do, we'll take the power out of the sail, turn the engine on, mm -hmm. throw this thing. If we've yeah. got time, we'll throw what's called a damn boy overboard as well, which will help locate them. You throw this thing overboard, mm -hmm. and then basically you circle around them. And as you circle around them in tighter circles, eventually they'll, this boy will grab, they'll be able to grab this boy yeah. thing, yeah. right? I see. That's good. And then you pull them to the boat, basically. Okay. Good system. Okay. And, then, and then we've got a system with a little ladder we can throw down the side and uh, what's called the, the, the rope that takes the spinnaker up, mm -hmm. we can attach it to whoever's fallen overboard so we can hoist them up with a winch mm -hmm. while they climb. Because sometimes it's quite hard to climb out on your own, yeah. but we've got a winch as well so we can help get somebody out. Okay. So that'll be the system. Okay. It's pretty windy out there. I think Sean's going to put a reef in the sail um, and we'll probably just go to the uh, up the estuary, maybe not go out beyond the breakwater today, but see how it goes. We pick up speed pretty quickly. Frank's a little worried and stays in the cabin with Claire. But Lucy gets stuck into life at the helm.
After about an hour, we decide to turn back. How's it going, Sean? What's happening? It's good. We're just uh, heading heading back up the uh, heading back up the river. Frank's feeling a little peaky, so uh, we just had a nice spin down to Plymouth Sound. Just got the wind behind us a little bit, so just trying to be careful that we don't get a accidental jive. Just trying to get around the corner. Uh, With the wind behind us, the boat heels less. Frank comes out of the cabin to check out the Navy Yard. It's been a good day out. Then the rain comes back. It seems like there's no respite till mid-April. So, uh, got my old buddy Gary out here, first time on a boat. Um, we're, uh, yeah, we've been tacking down the channel, going out to Plymouth Sound, and um, he's a natural. He's got it. I want the rum. <laughs> Where's the <me> rum? <laughs> he's, uh, He's got the wrangling the rope thing down to a tee already. <laughs> Next, Gary's on the tiller. He seems right at home there as well. Hey, you're enjoying your first time sailing, oh, are you? Yeah, this is great. Don't tell me, look at that phone. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's a uh, steep learning curve, but it's a lot of fun. And I've done some tacking. And we're still in Plymouth, but uh, it's going well. <laughs> okay, so we've had a little, little poodle around. Just heading back up to Weird Key. Got the wind behind us, so we got a bit of a wing on wing set up. Gentle wind, gently running up the Tamar. So a fruitful day out. Gary's uh, taken to it like a, well, you don't want to say fish to water, do you? But um, taken to it like a natural. Are you a sailor now? <laughs> Another fun day out. Now we just need the weather to perk up for some longer trips. <laughs> 